Okay. 200 comments. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you guys for all of this. I might not be thanking you so much by the end of it, but as we have done throughout the latter half of this season, I am going to be reading off all of your guys' comments about season 19, sorry, episode 19, season 15, the end of the whole Chuck story. Um, first off, one thing I kind of wanted to question, I don't know if we're going to see that in the comments here, but I am kind of curious as to what happened to Amara, because first Amara was like, ah, I'm all for humans, and then Chuck tricks her, but Oster Dean kind of portrayed her. So I'm kind of wondering if she's just like, oh yeah, they couldn't bring her back for the episode 19 because of Mandalorian, but we'll see. Anyways, that was my question. It was an alright episode. It kind of felt like a very contrived and very watered down version of Swan Song. I saw the ending coming from a mile away, and yeah, I don't know. It was alright, but it wasn't like, meh. But anyways, let's read what you guys had to say. I'm going to probably be here all night uh, talking and reading these, and then... If you, if you spelled it badly, though, I'm not going to bother reading it. So let's see how you did for your grammar. This episode was rushed in, in terms of, to describe it. Everything was convenient. The whole magic hand wave Lucifer is back from the empty with a reaper. And then 10 minutes later, they are both dead. It was basically like, let's get this arc over with so we can hand wave as much as possible. The book is now convenient, open, conveniently open. Jack is now a power vacuum, however. In the previous episodes, they said this sucking power would cause massive chain reactions and damage to the point that it can, can't be contained. It would need to be contained. Now he can just walk around and suck plant energy. I think I mostly lost my shit at the ending of the world came down to a fist fighting god. Then Jack is now god. And even though he was breaking apart at the seams just in taking Adam's god touched rib. The Winchesters are now free from destiny, but everyone they cared about over the 15 years is dead. Shrug and ride off into the sunset. This episode ha ha was hand wave myths galore with a clip show at the end. Shrugs. This episode felt rushed. Also, Lucifer felt super out of character. He would never help Chuck, and he would never ask Jack to. Jack to. He made Jack to. F Jack to defy Chuck. And, you know, when Chuck abandoned him after season 11. Also, since when can he snap death? Remember season five when he had to bind death? Yeah, that's actually funny enough. There are a few things that happened in this episode that were very surprising like i thought that lucifer was very convenient in that episode and again yeah the powers all of a sudden just like he he made death and then destroyed it i was like what the fuck how'd that happen r.i.p De dean's 30 second dog cared more about the dog in the episode best part lucifer coming in what's up actually and i made a comment that that was probably my funniest part of the whole episode is that you cared more about a dog than anyone else in this episode in my opinion, Lucifer coming back shouldn't have been a trick. It should have been stated since it would made more sense. In my opinion, they had better options discussed in the episode and should have gone as planned. And instead of spell it, then of spell, it should have been with, ended with Lucifer and Michael fighting God together in Sam and Dean's bodies, knowing that they would lose. But the fact that it would, fe would fuel Chuck played out better in a similar way. Oh, that actually is a good idea. It, it's taking the elements of Swan Song, but sort of tricking it like that twist with the whole jack being the power vacuum would have much been much more <gasps> because you know when you get when the guys were getting their crap beaten out of him like okay oh, here we go where's jack the that way lucifer's statement in the episode the end during the season five became circular the circumstances changed but this is how it always ends because i fully fully believe sam and dean would have said yes in the circumstance but they already did the whole dean turning into michael thing in season 13 so badly so they couldn't do that again the writers seem to enjoy bringing a character in, twist, and then another twist, then death. But this episode was very lackluster, ruining Michael's character, bringing back Lucifer again, and ruining his character, and probably even Adam's character. I'll admit, yeah, I was very upset that Adam, like, that whole Michael thing, wow. Like, we waited so long to see him come back, and he was just a joke. It doesn't make sense that Jack could absorb God's powers. If God was truly omnipotent, then absorption would be impossible. If something is infinite, it remains no matter how much you take from it. Dude, they, they don't think that hard. They don't think that hard in the writing room. This feels like it's been written by someone very young with no writing experience. The weird editing as well, especially in the scene where Chuck is beating them up. I have zero hype for the show finale. Supernatural has become a zombie. Unaware that it's still alive. At least it will be over next week. Since season 12, it has definitely not been as good. They would have been better off just making the empty of the main villain for the finale and making Chuck help them. I'm still struggling with Chuck being the villain in hell. That even works. Yeah, I'll admit, like, I... 
I, I really thought the empty was going to be the villain. Maybe they'll come up in the finale of the show, because I really don't know how the last episode's going to be. While watching this episode, I honestly couldn't tell if I really enjoyed it or hated it. I felt numb throughout the entire episode. I did like seeing Lucifer one last time. I thought the episode was a little convenient and sloppy. They really outdid themselves. This was possibly the biggest piece of shit yet. And you're wrong to give it a 3 out of 7. You say it's not terrible, but it's actually worse than the sum of its parts. Oh. Uh, so neither Sam nor Dean beat God. They spent five minutes explaining their own writing to the audience. That was no real closure with any of the real characters or the turning characters. None of anything was earned. Was I supposed to feel something when the music played and the people returned? Maybe if they didn't have been disappearing over the course of the season, it would have held some weight to it unless they were relying on corona to give it weight i thought watching chuck the writers of this show slash book um beating sam and dean to a pulp would lead to something but nope nothing came of it sam and dean felt like guests are cameos there was no emotional weight there was nothing these fuckers are laughing all the way to the bank i'll admit that there wasn't much emotional weight in that when they were getting the crap being out of them I, was like, I know they're getting out of this like yeah like i said water down swan song Making Chuck slash God the final villain was a terrible choice from the beginning, especially since they wrote him as a good guy after he literally helped them defeat the darkness. Yes, and trust me, I've you're preaching to the choir, my friend. This episode felt like a compiled version of what could have happened throughout the season. I don't even have the energy to complain much anymore. That final montage only reminded me of how much the Kripke era was better. I just wish HBO would pick up Supernatural for a reboot in the future. I remember I read a fan fiction about Death reaping God at a house located in an asteroid, which used to be part of a planet. That story was a thousand times better than this, and such a thought-provoking philosophical vibe. That is a pretty interesting idea. I don't know how Supernatural could have done that, though. Just saying, I would have expected more surprise from Dean when his phone rang. Not because the caller ID said cast, but because everyone is dead, so why is he receiving calls? Yeah, you're right there. I thought this episode served as a pretty decent season finale. Of course, it felt rushed and predictable, but honestly, that's how the show goes sometimes. That's no excuse. The season finale was horrible, especially compared to Swan Song. They put so little effort into the season. That ending could have come up in season five. I love the show, but it ran out of steam when they burned through all the pantheon of gods. Yeah, like they had some whims. Like I, again, when I get to season eight, I know that was when I, I was rejuvenated in the show again. I was hoping this was the finale. This episode was way better the first time I watched it when it was called Avengers Endgame. <laughs> The entire, God, the entire idea of God being a villain never made sense to me in the first place. His character flip was okay, but out of place. All right. Honestly, the most emotional character death was the dog. This episode was just completely underwhelming, and I'm pretty sure the last cut scene in the montage was from season one, episode one. Yeah, when they were closing the trunk. I just knew it would end with that. One thing I, I don't get exact, well, what exactly Jack sucks power out of, because... If he's killing plants, presumably he absorbs life forces, but then how doesn't he kill every person and animal that he walks by either? Yes, exactly. I was wondering that myself. The Empty D is just dropped entirely, which is a real bummer because that's one of the only beings that holds any mystique or potential for any new storylines. The ending really served it to be a peaceful and uncontrived, un uncontroversial one, for which... For a show that lost momentum and ability to provide shocking revelations years ago. I guess that's better than having an entire sand fan base who stuck with it for 15 years to have some sort of Game of Thrones upset for an ending. It, they played it safe, and I don't think most of the fan base was holding their breath for much more anyways. Yeah, pretty much. That's, oh, yeah, that's that's pretty much dead on. This episode tried so hard to be Swan Song, but it didn't even come close. Runched and convenient. Not terrible, but meh. Yeah, meh's a very good way to put it. You know, I've been reading the comments and find it pretty funny that a show about Sam and Dean hasn't had a show about Sam and Dean for a while. The comments here barely mention them. The majority of them are about other things. That is what went wrong with the show. It turned into the side character show, and Sam and Dean were on the outside looking in. When you have two characters with chemistry like Jensen and Jared, and you relegate to them to minor characters who are to lift side characters, this is what happens. The show died when these two fantastic actors were kicked to the side of their own show. It went downhill fast and became chaotic. What a shame. Dab should have never been in charge of the show again should never be in charge of a show again his writing team should never write for another show they destroyed beloved characters and storylines now i can actually counter one thing about you there is season 11 was a good way of putting them on like being witnesses to what was happening and that's why i thought season 11 was going to be the end because it set it out so damn well and but it, i one of the other the other reasons why they put the, pushed them off to the side is because 
literally they had nothing they were they, they had done everything so they were just side characters but that's an issue of it going on too long this has got to be a dream uh, chuck's dreams sequences you know how chuck's predictable with his storytelling next week hell will break loose i hope and they will send the boys to a blaze of glory maybe i don't know i think i think they're done if they do die though i'm gonna be very surprised Ever since season 5, the characters in the show were just shown more and more disrespect in how they were written. I cared about the dog more than literally anyone in, who died in the past several episodes. When you take away the value of characters, screen time, and the impact of the story, you don't deserve to write them. Ooh, very, very critical there. Oh, I'm just gonna leave my... I'm gonna lean back, because I don't know I'm in this for the long haul. Jack's story still feels unfinished. The main reason he went along with Billy's plan after he got his soul back was because he was desperate for Sam and Dean's forgiveness. I expected there to be some sort of scene that addressed that before he became God. Then again, why should I expect anything from this show anymore? You got it there. You are ugh, trying to get real comfortable. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I didn't see that this was a more one, and holy crap, this is a long one. So I don't know if I'll be able to read the whole comment, but I'll try my best. Hey, Jeremy and folks, there it is. Finally, the show that killed... The show that I loved 10 years ago is dead. No, there is no new episode next week. It's dead. Don't know what you're talking about. Fucking glad. Yeah, there is. There's a series finale next week. First of all, why did everything in Supernatural... Why did everything in Supernatural that was so dangerous in the early seasons become hilarious and unspectacular? That was the most promised apocalypse everybody talked about was about in season 4 and 5. This was everything that would have happened if Michael and Lucy would have fought in Kansas. I mean, okay, last time they pulled this off, season 13, they ruined it exactly like they did the first time, but that doesn't make it better. Sure, one could say, well, it doesn't count as a real fight because both of them haven't had their true vessels, but it really is an argument, though. Michael would have had his vessel in Swan Song either. Is it such a big difference that Michael would have never gone to the field? He would have never been destroyed, also light bulbs. What really pissed me off was the Deus Ex Machina. They didn't bring Lucifer, they didn't just bring Lucifer back, they invented that Michael could turn himself before God and so much more. It's getting boring. Why exactly didn't God make a deal with the Reaper that he kills and makes a new death? Shouldn't be, shouldn't he be smart? I mean, I think about that, and I'm not that smart to be honest. Uh, I liked how Chuck beat Sam and Dean. It would have been nice if Death would have fought that like that last week. That's a real cosmic being, letting the humans get no chance, even if I have to admit that Chuck couldn't have hit them. But my biggest problem is Jack. Why can't he just kill God? The, the, it's the worst deus ex machina, and please, guys, don't say it's not, because he absorbed the life of plants since two episodes now, and because you have predicted it before the season, it's just because Supernatural is nearly famous for deus ex by now, and Jack was really the only thing being that could kill God. Also, the deus ex that is that he can kill him like this, not that he is the one who does it. However, even, even more problematic is Jack, the overpowered character whose really only weakness was that he's really dumb. Like, not IQ-wise dumb, but dumb concerning his powers and the dumb and the powers of the cosmic beings generally. Knows suddenly how to kill God and that the powers of God can never be back. Or did Billy tell him? And when was Billy's plan from the beginning? Then why did they change their agreement after the failure of the last episode? Sorry, I can't read all of it because I got so many more. R.I.P. Supernatural, I hope that you, some of those talented people like Jared and Jensen will start to thrive in new surroundings. I'm really hopeful to see Jensen as Soldier Boy. I think he's a great actor and it would pain for me to see him as a shallow character for years now. It was a terrible last ride, but one of the most wondrous rides I ever did for the first five seasons. Thank you for reading and enjoy yourself. B.S. Thank you for your reviews, Jeremy. I have to admit I didn't watch them very often, but I was, wasn't in the mood to watch reviews about shitty episodes with no brain work in it most of the time. I would love to see more reviews from you are about the, that are about the first five seasons. They'll be coming, don't worry. Holy crap, that took up so much time. <laughs> well, yeah, it sucked. They didn't do the main intro theme. I was waiting for it all season. Oh, co trust me, it's coming tomorrow, or Thursday. I didn't expect you to upload this review so quickly. I honestly be, I gotta be honest, felt so lackluster at the season finale. Felt like a good overall, and then there was some parts I liked, like that moment where Chuck beat the shit out of Sam and Dean was really done, well done. Eh. It just showed a lot of bones breaking, but I felt, again, no weight. Though that episode had so many twists and turns that it almost got me a headache watching this. Like, Lucifer coming back from the dead for ten minutes, bringing a reaper, then killing it, so it becomes death, then Lucifer killing the reaper. But then, wait, turns out Lucifer is lying. Wow, what a twist. And then Michael is also lying. Oh, and now Jack is a power vacuum. And I guess it turns out that the brothers knew about all the time, and they also knew Michael was lying. 
Also, at the beginning of the episode, Jack says he feels a presence and they thought it was a dog. And then they show up at the church and Jack says that the presence is coming from. Am I just being dumb or is there a piece, piece missing? <laughs> I ended up watching episode 19 and wanted to talk about it when I found this. It was actually really lame, soulless, but it and it doesn't feel like they ended it. Like it feels like things faded, anyways. I think the main problem with the show since years since years is or was is that creators of the show cared way too much about playing it safe. Only killing small side characters are characters that are not that much loved. It would have been a bang if they killed off one of the brothers or Castiel way earlier. Unfortunately, this is what the masses like to see, a feel-good ending. The show could have been one of the best and longest shows for, of all time for me. If the ending would have been darker, like resetting the whole universe and the last shot is another big bang and the brothers sacrificing them to turn back time somehow. So lives continue, but without the Winchesters. Ah, maybe, I don't know. Utter rubbish, just makes no sense at all. Supernatural will be the first show which major part was written by Dab, a fan fiction writer. I'm speechless. Yeah, I like it with a lot of likes on that one. The reason why the episode wasn't good is because Michael's character arc was respecting Earth and humans and realizing God be, might be the Almighty, but was not good. Personally, I would have had wrote this ending, something like Sam and Dean ask, where is he going? And Michael responds, there are other creatures out there, there are more demons, different worlds, and my path will consist of me discovering what it is and what they're like. Boom, spinoff show. Edit, the first show season of Michael's The Archangel could have been him fixing the apocalypse universe, and if they decided to do that, but it's too fucking late now, fuck you Supernatural writers. Was very let down from a creative and filmmaking standpoint. The editing and the acting were odd and cringe in many places. God power, such a cringe line, and delivery, LMIO. That poor dog, the only time I felt anything. I guess the clip show at the end was nice and all. And for the last episode, Jeremy two hours, one's a retrospective and the other's an epilogue. Not how the series it ends in my book. Feels like the last minute Plus, uh, let's give ourselves a pat on the back. We did it. I feel like it's unnecessary and want to skip. I'm not going to be watching the retrospective, to be honest. I don't have the time. But I will watch the epilogue, if it's a story thing. Even in, oh, even in the almost last episode of the show, they still managed to have some signature cliches, like, hey, and stab in the back, aka backstabbing twice supposed to be the big fight but cheap lucifer versus michael lucifer is back baby and now he's gone again michael is back baby but he, now he's gone again beating the crap out of the winchesters and healed no harm done so now we can stay together now no reckoning snaps somebody should make an honest trailer of this show yeah anyways i like the i like the scene where lucifer made the death good prom new death good performance interesting concept that went nowhere Actually, yeah, that would be funny to see in Honest Trailers. No, I'm not doing it. No. No. <laughs> the episode did feel weird and too easy, like a toddler wrote it. Chuck's writing is juvenile, but it's not that juvenile. I think the writer just let his two-year-old write the ending. It felt like Chuck has wrote it, but they didn't have the time to explore the concept anymore. I think COVID epidemic may have had a factor on this, or I wanted to believe it in this case. That's why the showners rushed it. I read that the series finale next week will have uh, some familiar faces, but due to COVID, they couldn't have travels. Yeah, COVID only affected the one episode, like one day of filming this episode, because that was all they had left, and they shut down. And the only thing COVID affects is background and amount of people. That's it. Like the hand-on-hand -hand contact, the actors get tested and all that stuff. So yeah, no. M maybe book and Lemonings most coherent script. Yeah, it's, yeah, like a lot of really crammed in things, but it wasn't like rushed. Oh, it was rushed, but it was, you know, you could understand what was happening. Somehow, someone please enlighten me and tell me I'm wrong. This was the end of the show, and now the next week is just the actors and saying goodbye. If it is, I can't believe it ended this way. What a fuck road to nowhere. Also, why was there no cre carry on my wayward son? This is supposed to be the final uh, season finale, I guess. They're saving it for the series finale. Yep, no, that, like I said, it'll be next week. Or this week. Running on empty is a great way to explain the writing. Lucy working for Chuck because reasons. Lucy able to snap the new death because be reasons. Michael beating Lucy, who literally just killed the new death without breaking a sweat for reasons. Michael working for the boys and then whiplash back to Chuck because reasons. Empty doing literally nothing because reasons. Chuck clearly breaking an arm and leg and the boys just shrug off the broken limbs and keep fighting like nothing else happened because reasons. I was what is funny that they kept on like, I, I swear they just reused clips of them getting up and Chuck saying, come on guys, come on guys. Jack being the new god and just hands off as Chuck, but now it's okay because reasons. Yeah, he was. Like, God wasn't interfering with anything until season 11. I could go on, but really, I'm just glad that they put this old dog down. 
Hey, sorry, bro, about the terrible spelling on your review for episode 18. I was drunk, however... Okay, let's see what you have to say. Uh, it's not me, but home, or just... What? Huh? Uh, however, this episode, I feel like it gave me a 2 out of 7. I really hate the idea that the writers probably knew that this was fan service once and gives it to the fans. This episode really gave me a bad taste in my mouth because it's so predictable. I do like how the ending was all a lot of old footage they showed, but let's see what happens next episode because I believe Jack will mess up and the brothers will probably die, and I hope the biggest plot twist is that they make that make me feel in peace with the show and that everything uh, make everything that has happened now is Chuck's original ending, almost like he was a test all along. I guess, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. And I do agree the MT being the villain would have been a great idea. Then also the brothers didn't literally just Game of Thrones to the uh, throne of God to the Antichrist. Yeah, they did. I know I said I liked it, but I watched it again and now I realize for years I have been in denial that this show I love so much has been declining. I guess I wanted to keep believing that after season five it was still amazing, but truth, after the phenomenal season one to five, it all went downhill and that hurts even to type, but it's true. Hey, you know what? It's okay to admit it. You know, we all have roasted and gladys for a lot of things. they like, yeah, it just it's unfortunate, but you know, whatever. We all got different things to do. We all can move on and watch a new show. Good review. I would give it a 4.5 out of 7. The church scene was great. Uh, the lighting, the tone wasn't bright, and the, th the thunder. The writers did Michael dirty. So many people, including myself, had hopes of Michael and Adam having a spinoff show. Or just, no, guys, they already said they were never going to do a spinoff show. Uh, thank goodness we had a fight scene between Michael and Lucifer. Even the choreography was poor. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was kind of. There wasn't any choreography, guys. It was stab. Carry on my wayward son. There will be peace when you when the season is over. But anyway, not a terrible episode. I'm gonna miss the su TV so the supernatural TV show, but I'm happy it's over. Da 15 damn seasons. Oh my god. I mean, oh my Chuck. Oh please don't. Oh, ugh. After season five, it's not worth it to watch Supernatural. It's full of loopholes and dumb ideas. I feel like before season six, everything had its power known and precise. Now you never know and can never be a, uh, you can be a new god with a spell book. Uh, the book of the damn. So stupid, to be honest. Spell check. What that? I enjoyed this episode, but I didn't like, I didn't like char Michael's character development being reversed and Lucifer siding with Chuck is a bit uh, much concerning the long-standing feud. Also, what happened to Adam exactly when Jack put everyone back since he had no vessel to come back to? Oh yeah, that's a... No one cares anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. My main comment about this episode is how many times Chuck says guys. I think it said 50 times when he's beating them, the crap out of Sam and Dean at the end of the episode and they kept getting up. He's got, come on guys, stay down. Guys, stay down, stay down. And then when Chuck... Jack takes Chuck's powers and becomes human and leaves him a rod. He's like, come on, guys, come on, come on, guys, don't leave. Yeah, actually, that's true. I, I did notice that, too. I thought that was a little bit odd. It was a very awkward. I have too much to say about this episode. There were maybe two or three paragraphs full about what I thought about this episode. It's only a few things. I just, I must be the only one who felt bad for Chuck at the end. I didn't like how they treated the character, and I know it's been said many times that Chuck should have never been the villain. I also keep thinking Chuck's ending, losing his power like that, looked really familiar. It was exactly what they did on Avatar The Last Airbender. But <laughs> at this point, I'm not shocked. I haven't watched the show, but I know my roommates um, do, and I might have to ask them about that. I don't know how to feel. Eh, just nothing. This episode is a good concept that could have been great if they had better execution, as with better, uh, pretty much every episode this season, they had a lot of issues. Why on earth do they still think they want to see Lucifer again? It's been 10 years of this character being dragged out and brought back and then brought back again. The last bit of engagement I ever got out of seeing him was in season 11 when he possessed Cass and Misha was just chewing the scenery the whole time. Yeah, I remember that. That was great. And he even made more lame in the eyes of that awful battle at the end of season 13. That wasn't very bad. But he died, and you'd think that with nearly a half a decade that would have been the end of it. But no, nothing really truly ever stays dead in Supernatural. I did not en have any enjoyment seeing him one last time. No, I didn't either. When he was there, I was like, oh, really? Wow. You spoke from my heart, buddy. Eric is a crypt key. What does even that mean? <laughs> hey, Jeremy, what are you doing for another season review? Oh, are you going to do another season review of 15 after you watch it? I'm never rewatching this season, guys. Never. No. No. Wasn't the greatest ending, but uh, not the worst. Glad I got one. Nothing worse than an investment in a show and they cancel it. Thank you, Stan. Uh, 
Thank you, Ash vs. Evil Dead. So sad I thought I got an ending. In yes, I can agree on that. Even if it's terrible, at least we got one. Given the episodes we've gotten in this season and all the drop uh, plot lines and stories, I would say that this was a decent ending. Although I didn't feel anything for anyone, we knew that they'd win, so why feel anything when they've gotten beaten up or when the people come back? A 10-year-old could have written this episode. Maybe if they were just built up better across the other episodes of the season, like following Sam, Dean, and Jack suffer by themselves for more than 20 minutes. Maybe even seeing Dean grieve uh, at the loss of, of Cass and letting us see God suffer on Earth for a minute. Also, these guys are trying to kill God now. They're like, nah, we ain't murderers. So Sam and Dean outsmart Chuck. I don't know how that worked, but okay, decent episode. <laughs> this was pretty much expecting the brothers defeating Chuck and driving off in the Apollo. It didn't leave me angry, disappointed. It was like, all right, sure. I just didn't want a terrible or disappointing end. Well, some fans feel like it was, and I get it. But Andrew Dabb was clearly shown that he is the best showrunner. And I just kind of expected the season finale for him, so I guess in the end I, I liked it. It's the polar opposite of Crypt Key's swan song, which was tragic due to Sam having to give up the ultimate, do the ultimate sacrifice and do the unthinkable to beat uh, the devil. This ending is just happy, which is fine, but again, uh, kind of expecting as well, because the brothers dying and sacrificing for each other was done to death throughout the 15 seasons nah man no nah, i'm sorry sometimes you got to end on a bad note sometimes you got to end on a note that you'll just will never forget and that's what swan song was and dab has not been the best showdown he's been the worst the literal worst one ever I, I get where you're coming from though i do understand what you mean but sometimes feel good crap is just so sappy I thought that was a terrible mess. I think three out of seven is too high, but to each their own. Nothing really happens. Lucifer is the original turn cartoon character returns. I guess they had to milk the cow one more time. Michael does nothing. He was pointless. A new death dies in seconds. Pointless. A fight that ends in seconds. Pointless. Death book on Chuck is never read. Pointless. I made you look at Ma uh, Michael laughable. Chuck, uh, Jack being this plower, flower plant killer. Him absorbing power is ridiculously lazy, but I can, can I be really surprised? I guess not. Buckling him, episode eight was pretty good. Shame on me for thinking they'd be able to do it twice. The clip show went on for too long. I guess they had extra time to fill in due to that dull ending. I think next week I'll have some alcohol. Oh, well, I guess we'll see how it goes. I didn't like it either. Oh gosh, we got a big one here. I had several issues with this episode, but it just if I just focus on what they did with Chuck, I'd like it because it are artistic, art, artistic, no, no, you, you, <sighs> stab you in. Now to my issues. Wait 10 years for Michael and Lucifer to square off and wipe off half the planet. They didn't even knock a flower pot over. I felt like the episode was rushed in certain parts and slow in others. Like killing Lucifer was so nonchalantly and the, the ultimate rebel just being on God's side seriously. Then Michael portraying the boy so it was so pathetic that happened to Adam. Did he just come back when Jack brought everyone back or is he the Black Widow of the series? Like they built him up so well but he ended so pathetically and quickly it made me laugh. It was so out of character for Michael to say that what he said to Chuck in the way that before dying. It could have been better if he went to heaven. Let Adam live and bring his mom back as promised. Even Jack Abel didn't like Ma uh, Michael's ending. Oh, but gave a diplomatic response in question in a uh, creative creation con. And I thought the angels could tell the humans were lying or not. What? How Michael knew Sam's not lying? Retcon King Dab. That's how. Michael like the. Well, okay, man, you're going on too long and a lot of. But I get weird. Five out of seven because I did like it overall. Kevin. Oh man, you gotta spell better compared to other episodes of this season. I liked what they did with the, with Chuck, but only due to me force, forcing me to accept him as a villain, although I still think it was idiotic. I prefer Raven Shore's theory to be true. I would have preferred. This episode was rushed as hell, and I don't understand why they added so many filler episodes instead of extending the f finale, yes. On this bright side, this was one of the very few episodes this season that kept my interest enough to not skip anything. However, it appears that the writers forgot Chuck could be, kept all of his knowledge and could essentially cheat his way through life by using his overpowered spells introduced in recent seasons. Yeah, actually, I was kind of wondering how the whole all-knowing god didn't know what they were doing. And I was like, I wonder if they're going to try and write around that. And they're like, nope. We'll just hope that people are dumb. 
Remember when Supernatural went from the boys fighting the biblical apocalypse to the boys fighting vampires in season 6 to just keep up with the contemporary Twilight fad? Why did I have hopes in it for a CW show that's essentially piggybacking on teenage online fan fiction to have any kind of substance? Do you think this show would have been different if it was on HBO or Amazon Video, like other, like Kripke's other show, The Boys? No, it would have not have been on there. They wouldn't have taken it. This being, this not being the worst season finale is not a good point. No, no, no. Very much not a good point. There is, one, there isn't one far better story that they haven't plagiarized and destroyed this season. Kripke is Chuck replaced by Jack, who is Dab. That's how shallow, that's uh, as shallow and vindictive as it can get. So of course, me saying this is a stretch, like all the fans, we want you to want a better, bigger deal, even though that, that's there, even though it's not. But I think the writers make Chuck, Chuck, aka God, into the fourth wall of writing and ending, and nothing could have been representation. Uh, I don't know where you're going, but here, uh, so the ending isn't beating Chuck, but that the new God lives in all of us who have experienced the show and love the show. It's a stretch, but that's what I took from it. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I really don't know. You ever think there should be a movie? It would be cool, but they won't do one. They won't have the budget. They're done after this. I hope the series finale does better. So do I, sir. Damn, every theory that Jack would have become the new Death sounds not too bad now. I expected Mara to control Chuck as well. Maybe he could have absorbed Death's power when Lucifer snapped her. And after the internal struggle, Chuck and Amara split only to see Jack behind with a scythe or something like that. Just absorbing random some kind of power with no structure whatsoever feels weird. But then again... They needed a new god either way. I think the series has been biting on more than it can chew and recently resolved for a few years now. Oh, buddy. Most definitely has been going on for way too long. So if Chuck is omniscient and knew the plan to blow him up and, and Mara up, then why didn't he know about Chuck being a power, or Jack being a power vacuum? And why could, would Jack blowing up in the empty turn him into a god power vacuum in the first place instead of killing him? Well, they had to end the story somehow, so I guess that will do. Dean is so all over the map this season. He was more than happy to use slash kill Jack because they weren't family, but now they're back to being best friends. Whatever, at least I don't have to see cartoon Lucifer ever again. <laughs> so are Jody and the Donna and the girl still dead and everyone else but the boys care about? Did the Jack kill off all the monsters? Ending was unclear. Like I said, next episode we'll probably be addressing that. That I was hoping that while God was beating Sam and Dean up, he would change his heart or some shit. Realize how wrong, how he was wrong, and somehow reinstill his love in humanity and become good again. Somehow go through his personal character transformation. Then he would bring Cass back, and the final ending scene would be Sam, Dean, Cass, and Jack talking about the Impala. Sam and Dean sing their famous line, "We got work to do," and then they close the trunk, and all four of them get in the Impala, and drive off in the sunset, then carry on my wayward son starts playing. That would have been a better ending, in my opinion. That's what I was on. I, uh, part of me wanted to see the Power Rangers slash uh, Pokemon ending with Chuck, but no, they went down the very, very predictable route. Also, side note, it'll be sad to not watch your reviews for the show anymore. What's the next chapter for you once the sh once the show's next? I'm I'm not ending, guys. I'm I'm still gonna be reviewing all the older episodes, so make sure I'll be starting season four real soon. All I can say is that thank God this horrendous show is almost over. I can't tell you how sick and tired of I am of crying. The apologies, the fake drama. Last week with Cass was whatever. And oops, oh, you got a line. I don't know. I'm not gonna try and read through a line. With all respect, you have, with respect, you have to remember that they actually had to rewrite the ending because of COVID. No, they didn't. They didn't have to rewrite the ending. They did not. They did not. I know this for a fact. They did not. Honestly, I think they could have ended the show here. It's the Winchester's, it's the end of the Winchester's arc. So what do they do next week? I guess we'll see. Man, this is a season finale was so predictable. Not only did they feel like, the episodes feel like a chip, cheap rip off of Swan Song and Endgame. Heck, the writers even ripped off other things like Avatar The Last Endbender and End of Even, oh yeah, Evangelion. I've been meaning to watch that. I really would recommend Neo Genesis. It's a great anime series. I've heard as much. After everything Michael and Lucifer went through in this show, they still chose Chuck. This still makes no sense, especially for Lucifer who hates Chuck. Yes, that didn't make any sense. The ending for Chuck was poetic justice and probably the only thing I liked about this episode, even though making Chuck into the final villain of the show was a stupid idea. The Empty should have been the final villain. Jack became the new god of the end, went from the man with the mentality of a child to a well-knowing being. 
brings all the people back and says, I'm not coming home, don't worry, I'm everywhere and, and everything. See you around, because bye. What about Cass? You know, your father figure, did you all of a sudden forget about bringing Cass back? And Sam and Dean, yet again, sitting in the bunker, talking about things that we're finally free, we can write our own story now. All we need, we all know you both will do the same shit over again. Go right back to hunting monsters and change nothing, despite Chuck not controlling your fate anymore. Just like you said in your review, Jeremy, this isn't the worst season finale and miles better than season 12, 13, and 14 finale, but it's still bad. Supernatural should have ended with season 11. Yes. It's too easy to be critical of these season's episodes, but not because they don't meet our expectations of what a season finale is, but because they were serving up shit. The biggest problem I had with episode 19 was that when Jack slash God brought everyone back, he omitted everyone from Dean's immediate cliche click and nothing neither one of them even bothered to make calls to see if friends or loved ones were back actually yeah they didn't seem to care i don't know what to say but i think i hate it oh here we go uh zero out of seven for me this is the worst episode of the entire series and probably the whole show this is probably the w biggest waste of potential ever michael was good but then he betrayed the boys and just got killed i mean what was the point lucifer coming back and working with the boys just to betray them to reveal that he was working for god after his entire motivation came from his hatred for them for him and then he just got killed what was the point chuck being sucked dry by jack was so anticlimactic i mean he was the ultimate villain of the entire series the biggest threat that the boys had ever come across and this is his ending the whole infinity war was resolved in one episode jack just because just became god so goddamn predictable and nothing for sam and dean i literally felt like nothing for them this episode to me this episode was the worst all the build-up and then nothing that's and that's because they gave us three filler episodes. So they had to cram every th every little bit of story into these three episodes. I gotta say, after watching this, suddenly seasons 12 to 14 don't seem that bad anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. They're still very bad. But yeah, no, this one was pretty pathetic. Well, I loved it. Well, good for you, Luke. Go back and watch the better episodes. <laughs> Why? Oh, last page. Last page. I understand some may not like it but one how are they going to morally kill god when the actors themselves are close to their beliefs and two how could they break our heart with a sad ending during the pandemic they felt obligated to give us hope it was a beautiful episode one more to go no no that's some sappy ass crap i'm sorry that's your opinion and i apologize for what i said but it is sappy like that this show like swan song was this it was hard-hitting writing and now we're essentially in children's story, children's television shows. Like you're essentially talking about a Paw Patrol episode. <laughs> you're entitled to your opinion, and I, I liked it. Yeah, there we go. Better than your hair loss problem. Oh, this dude. Oh, this guy. Oh, baby. Oh, I love it because I think I got under your skin because this doesn't get under my skin anymore. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I need to buzz my head, but I haven't done it. But yeah, oh, oh, I loved it. I, 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 I was like, yes, I love it. I think you gave the episode a little too much hate. Sure, there was a lot of predict prediction of Jack becoming. Oh my God, dude, can you re-spell? That doesn't make it bad. There are also some things that no one predicted. Chuck being alive or Amara being in harmony with Jack. I liked it that he didn't kill Chuck. I didn't like that this all this happened in one episode with Lucifer, Michael, New Death, and then Chuck. How did Lucifer kill... How did... Oh, buddy, you need to spell better. Remember when Lucifer needed a, a spell to bound Death but to him, but killing him, he was too powerful. Now Death is a joke. I'm overall okay with how it ended, but I'm not sure if I feel happy. Whatever. You started off defending it, and by the end, you're kind of like dissing it and ripping it apart yourself. So I'm kind of confused as to what your opinion is, too. I think it was good, but not as good as it could have been. I think Michael and Lucifer could have uh, had it better, but I think Chuck got... How do you spell... Oh, no, you spelled Chuck, right? Got what he deserved, so it was good, but it could have been better. This guy's hiding the fact he's going to miss Supernatural. Fans of the Supernatural know that the, what they got when they tune in. You know, you watch their shows because you want entertainment. I just agree with your view. The, fi the finale kicked ass in Supernatural standards. No, it did not. Supernatural has had much better standards than this. Um... And I watch it because I am committed to it. I'm not getting entertainment from it. I know I'm not. And no, no. I've. If you were to go back and watch season four and then go back and rewatch this season finale, I think you'd realize that this has gone down a, such a shitter. One thing I really enjoyed about this episode was how Chuck being narcissistic. Like every narcissist, they don't ever apologize for their actions. And Chuck, after all these years, 
uh, after everything he did and when he became mortal he didn't apologize i really love that he was all feels all paul powerful and almighty because he's god and when he confronts jack i love how desperate and terrified he is there's something enjoyable about how sam and dean defy fate and had an epic form of creation versus god uh, versus the creator showdown sam and dean always have put each other first against literally everything and finally they don't have to be tied down to someone calling the shots in their life people will argue the idea and belief of god takes away free will it's wonderful to see how selfless jack really is throughout his development and his character he hates lying because he's a goddamn child dude like he's kind and merciful and you know that armaro wished a better kinship and now she can have that okay yeah the only thing is chuck or jack never changed after th three seasons three seasons of development he was never a different character more than anything i'm pretty sure those two who died are, are staying dead i doubt the entire multiverse is restored there's something satisfying to me personally of chuck becoming mortal and forgotten and irrelevant to his creation and now that is that his death isn't specified i'm interested to see what sam and dean will be doing in the series finale yeah i'll admit while it was pretty predictable i do like the idea of the writer getting his comeuppance and being like ah, i i I thought that wasn't bad, so ergo why I gave it a 3 out of 7, despite its predictability. Holy shit! Alright, that's it. That's 45 minutes of me talking about your guys' comments. Thank you, you all, for your comments. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm probably starting to sound like a madman by the end of it, but you know what? That's it. And now we've got one more episode left. One more. I'm very interested to see what it is because I don't know. I actually have no idea. I've been on the set with people who worked on the finale and I've been dying to ask them, but I will resist. But I'm very interested to see. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. I'll see you for the final, final episode.